Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an updated capsule wardrobe haul slash updates video. Basically this is going to be a little bit different to how I did it last season. Uh, my autumn capsule wardrobe last time I did a haul so I just showed you new things I bought to update it and then I did a full collection video where I like showed you every piece. What I'm going to do today is basically just show you the pieces I took out of my autumn capsule and the things I put into it to convert it into a winter capsule because my like clothing between autumn and winter hasn't changed drastically I've just sort of put a few new things in and taken a few things out so that's how I'm gonna do this video I hope you enjoy it first of all if you haven't seen my autumn capsule wardrobe and you're very interested in watching it I'll have that in the description so you can get an idea of what I was wearing for the last three months and now that it's officially June I want to first talk about the items that I decided to take out of my capsule either for um, reasons like they don't really match the weather anymore I had quite a few summery pieces still in my autumn capsule just because uh, in Melbourne it's really really hot um, until about sort of end of April so the first part of the season is quite warm and still quite summery and then you really start to get the cooler weather sort of end of April and then by May like end of May it was freezing so you had to have like proper warm clothes as well so it was a real mixed bag for autumn um, so basically the things I've removed have been pieces that were just too warm weather orientated um, but I also took out um, a couple of things that just don't layer that well so I'll explain that in a second so firstly the first item I took out was this cherry shop cami now this is just a little basic it's like their basic zip cami that they have all the time love this piece but it's just way too summery and I it's not something that layers that well underneath sweaters like I do wear camis in winter but I just like more plain ones that don't aren't so sort of bulky because this one's quite like floaty um, so I took that one out um, I also took out my seed t-shirt uh, I took out the stripy one and the gray one and the reason is the short sleeve is just a little bit um, too sort of summery um, and warm weather orientated and especially the stripes stripes I really think of as summer like French Parisian kind of styling so that one didn't really fit with my winter aesthetic so I decided to put that away when I say I take them out that doesn't mean I'm getting rid of the items most pretty much all the items actually I just stored away they're all in good condition still so I just folded them up put them away I also decided to pack away my two white blouses mainly just again it's a color thing I don't really feel like white in the middle of winter it's just not a color I tend to grab in my wardrobe so I just decided to put them away and that way when I pull them out again in spring they're kind of like special again because I'm one for three months so that's this first one here that you can see that's from forever new I put that one away but I still have the navy and black one of those in my collection and I also got rid of this ASOS one with the cutout shoulders this one especially is very very springy summery because of the cutouts uh, but yeah I'm looking forward to wearing that again in a few months now this next item that I decided to pack away was a little bit hard because I was really loving this. This was my favorite piece from Autumn. It's the seed swing kind of sweater. And the reason I decided to pack it away is it's the three quarter sleeves and it's quite a bulky sort of fabric and it didn't layer well underneath jackets and coats. And in winter it's cold enough you need to be wearing a jacket or a coat at all times outside. So I decided to pack it away because I tend to wear it more as like an outerwear piece. But I'll probably bring it out again in spring, which will be exciting because I'll look forward to wearing it again. The next item is this three-quarter sleeved grey top from the Cherry Shop. And it's got that sort of fake looking uh, white chiffon uh, hemline. And I decided to pack this away again because it's only three-quarter sleeves and I wanted to keep it for sort of more autumn, springtime kind of weather. Um, it just it doesn't layer as well because the three quarter sleeves kind of roll up when you try to put like a top over top of it So that's why I decided to put that one away Keep it special um, I also decided to put away my two Zara outerwear pieces So I've got my Zara jacket this black leather looking jacket. It kind of looks like a suede It's the perfect kind of piece for like spring and summer and autumn where it's not that cold at nights And in fact in summer, it's not cold at all, but you just kind of want a little outerwear piece This was the perfect little item. I loved it, but for winter. It's just way too thin so so I put it away. I also put away my Zara blazer, the white blazer. It's one of those things again where I just feel like white just doesn't really, I don't know, this season I'm not really doing white in winter. Um, so I've decided to pop that one away. I also put away my Forever New trench coat, which I love this trench coat, but it's just again, it's too thin of a material. The jackets and coats that I left with, I only kept three in my collection um, this season and they're all quite heavier or made of a material that's going to actually keep you warm. Now this next piece is actually one that I passed on. This is a boohoo dress. This is one that I got a couple years ago and, or I think it was last year actually. And I did really like it when I got it and I wore it, but 
it sat in my autumn capsule the whole time and I didn't wear it. It just wasn't something I was grabbing and we wanting to wear anymore. And I'd kept it in there because I was like, no, I really liked this last season. But it just, you know, proof is in the pudding. I didn't reach for it for three months. So I decided to give that one away to charity. I also decided to pack away my Portman's leather skirt. Now I got this last season and I really like it. However, I didn't wear it very often to like day to day because I felt a little bit like sexy in it for school and like for going off to uni and stuff. I just, it didn't really feel like an everyday piece. So what I've actually done is just moved it into my special occasion wear. If I'm going to a party or something or out for dinner, like I might put it on because I like wearing it. It's just way too sexy for daytime. Learned my lesson. Leather skirts aren't good for me for day to day wear, but that's fine. It was, um, I'm still pleased I bought it because I can use it for special occasion wear. I also packed away these little ruby shorts, and I love these shorts, but I just want to keep them a bit more special for autumn um, because they're quite obviously really, really short. Um, and I think they look cute with like a little sweater on top, but with a coat, it kind of looks like you're not wearing any pants. Like if you wear tights and they're shorts and then put a coat over top because they're so short. It literally looks like you're wearing, walking around with just stockings on. <laughs> so I feel a wee bit uncomfortable in that. So I decided to pack them away. Keep those for autumn. And finally, I packed away my dotty jumpsuit. This pretty much lives in my wardrobe like year round apart from winter because it is just such a staple piece. I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do when it breaks. So I haven't seen anything else like it. And it is a cheap item. It's just from Dotty, but I love it so much. But I decided to put it away because it just wasn't uh, appropriate for this time of year. It's way too thin of a material gets quite cold. So that's basically all the items I took out. I actually took out 12 items out of my capsule and I probably had somewhere between 35 to 40 items in my capsule. It was quite a large capsule for autumn but that was because the season is very like fickle. Like sometimes it's hot, it can get to 30 degrees and then other times it can be like 17. So that's why I had such a mixture. Because I packed away quite a few of my outerwear pieces I was left with my navy wool coat which is just I love that coat, that's just my favourite all time plain like classic coat and then I also kept my Portman's grey leather jacket in my capsule because that's like a really warm material, leather really like keeps the heat in well um, but I added in and pulled this jacket back out from my collection, this is one I've had for a few years but I pulled it back out of storage and it's my leopard print coat which is exciting as you can see I'm wearing leopard as well so I'm kind of having a thing for leopard it's a bit trashy but I love it. It's a swing style coat from Forever New. It's very warm because it's a faux fur. Um, even though it is faux, it for some reason keeps me warm. Like I wouldn't really wear real fur so that's why this one's faux. And I love the swing style. I just think it's so cool. You can just throw it over and it's kind of loose and casual but kind of, it almost reminds me like a mod kind of look. Like I went, went to a 1960s party one time and I wore it and it just really suited the kind of mod styling. But yeah, love that coat so much that it had to come back out of storage. This is definitely only one I tend to wear in the middle of winter because it is such a heavy coat being fur. The next piece I picked up to include, uh, I wanted a couple of warm sweaters that were made of wool and I specifically needed them to have a decent percentage of wool in them. The first one is actually what I'm wearing here. It's this leopard print jumper and this is from Seed. I'm going to warn you actually in advance, pretty much all the new things I bought are from Seed and I'm really not sorry because Seed is my favourite store. But this leopard print jumper is so cute and I loved that it just added quite a different colour to my palette because my wardrobe is just black, grey and navy and so I needed some other colour besides those and this sort of beigey animal print was kind of something a bit fun but still quite neutral. So this one uh, has a, I think it's like half wool, like it's not a full wool sweater um, but it is still really warm and I like wearing it for that reason. Then I also picked up this from Seed. This is a grey sweater with an asymmetric hem and this is so warm. Like my mama was always right. She used to try and make me wear wool and I'd be like, no nah, it's fine, acrylic's good. Like no, once you have wool, like oh my gosh. Everything else feels so cold and especially 100% merino. Merino wool is like the best wool for keeping you warm and it's so nice to have. And this is also extremely thin. I wanted um, sweaters, like the, these two sweaters are very, very lightweight and thin and so they fit under my coats perfectly. Um, so that was what I went out with the intention to get and I found them both at Seed. Now because I put away my white blouses, I needed one more blouse to kind of complete my little blouse collection because I like wearing blouses to work on Sundays at my shoe shop because it's too hot actually in the shop to wear a sweater so I tend to wear my sweaters and stuff midweek and my t-shirts and then on the weekends I wear blouses they're a bit dressier as well so I picked this one up from Seed as well this is a little polka dot number and I love this it's got the most beautiful detailing on the shoulders it's kind of like reinforced with an extra bit of like material 
Um, it just gives it a really beautiful shape and it hangs beautifully. Um, yeah, it's just a really well made, well like sort of floaty blouse and I love the fact that it was navy but with polka dots because it's such a classic print but it's in a colour that like, you know, resonates with me. Now, because I packed away a lot of my, I packed away all of my t-shirts except for my navy short sleeved swing t-shirt which I still tend to wear at work so that's why I kept that one out because it's a bit dressier. I actually found the same t-shirt at Seed but black and it's long sleeve which is super exciting. It's a lot more winter appropriate with this long sleeve so this is a good one to wear to uni. I feel so many burps I just ate lunch <laughs> I feel quite dressy in it but not overly dressy for uni like it's just nice and smart but yeah still you know a nice soft cotton so it's nice to wear it layers well like you can always put a sweater over top of a long t-shirt and it fits nicely underneath your um, coats and stuff as well so I grabbed that one because I knew I loved the shape of the short sleeve t-shirt then I picked up this gray sort of peplum t-shirt now I actually have one really really similar it's just a short sleeved gray peplum t-shirt um, but it's quite lightweight and summery and that one I packed away for another season uh, for the more summery seasons and this long sleeve one is perfect for winter because it gives the same kind of vibe I can wear it in the same sort of way but it's just a lot more warmer with the longer sleeves and just looks a little more wintry and because I loved that one so much I actually went back to the store and picked it up in navy as well because I felt there was a sale and I was still within the period where I was allowed to buy and I decided you know what I really love this t-shirt I'm just gonna get one in navy as well so I picked the same one up in navy totally didn't really need it but because my capsule was a little bit smaller than autumn I decided I could just still get the same top in two colors now another piece of clothing that I picked up that's not at all like wintry it's just this little camisole here I got this from Bardo and the reason I picked it up is I quite like wearing little camis underneath my sweaters especially if they're like a little bit like itchy or anything like I mean none of mine are but it's always nice having the extra layer between your skin and the sweater so I picked this one up because it's really beautiful with the delicate kind of eyelash lace around the top and around the bottom and I wear it with my sweaters and the nice thing is you see it poking out the bottom of the sweater it's just a little bit pretty and a little bit feminine um, kind of looks like lingerie and I love like lingerie as outerwear the other great thing is like I can wear it in winter underneath as like underwear but in summer I could totally wear it as a little cami as well so this is going to be a piece that actually lasts through the capsules very very well so lastly I just want to go over a couple of accessories that I picked up as well to complete my sort of wardrobe these aren't really included in my capsule I don't include footwear in my capsule purely because I work in a shoe store I can't restrain that area of my wardrobe <laughs> so I don't include it but I thought I would just show you the new things I've picked up this season from my work the first is this little uh, envelope clutch sort of crossbody bag I wanted one to replace my furry I've got one that's got like pony fur on it not real ponies don't worry it's just called pony fur um, but it's like a black pony fur crossbody bag and I love it and I just used it to death over summer um, but it's really starting to go a bit bald <laughs> like the hair is starting to sort of bald away because I've used it so much so this came to my work and I fell in love it's like a sort of dark muted navy leather um, so it's not it doesn't look super blue but it's definitely not black so it's just really beautiful and it contrasts so beautifully with the gold hardware as well and it comes with so it comes with a long strap that so you can use it as a crossbody bag and that's how I've been using it but it also comes with a little wristlet strap so if you're going to take it out for town um, like to go out clubbing you could just put the wristlet, wristlet strap on it or you could just take all the straps off and carry it as a clutch and it's so nice because it's got this big envelope like side and you can see and like I've got all my loose things in there and then on the back is where I keep my phone because it just like tucks in nicely in there really easily and then in here I just keep my wallet so that's in this zippy pocket in the middle and it's quite thin but fits a lot so it's a perfect little crossbody bag you can also do it like this where you kind of like poke it in there so it looks kind of even more like I don't know detailed but I tend to just flop it and it's got this beautiful like magnetic closure and the magnet's covered by the leather so it's just you can see it like grabbing it such nice quality and this is called the Hermia clutch bag I believe I'm quite bad at remembering the stock names but yeah I'm pretty sure it's called the Hermia clutch I will put a link in the description for you and then of course at winter time you have to have lots of boots so I picked up a few new pairs of boots to see me through the season I got these ones which I think are called grail and they they are just like a basic kind of they're not basic at all actually no they're like a mixture between a Chelsea boot with the elastic and a western style boot so they're pointy toe and they have this beautiful kind of western detailing here um, but then the, the block sort of heel Cuban sort of heel and then the um, 
gusset on the side so it's really like if a Chelsea boot and a Western boot had a baby and this is what would come out and I love that kind of aesthetic about it I wear this with like jeans mainly black jeans or blue like and I cuff the the bottom of the jeans so that they sit just above that's the best way I like to wear them I, wear, I live in jeans like six out of seven days of the week so these are perfect <laughs> the next pair are a little bit of a slightly dressy pair and something that I could wear with tights and a dress if I wanted to it's this little um, Portuguese cowboy boot it's still it's not overly cowboy but you can definitely tell because of the sloped Cuban heel and the fact that it's got this kind of stitching detailing with the panels and it also sort of cuts down lower at the front here so it gives off that really western vibe it's in a suede which is really beautiful as well because it just looks a lot more luxurious than like a normal leather um, and I love the heel height I wore these at work the other day for like eight hours and I was so so comfy the last pair are a little exciting this is a pair of long like faux suede riding boots I've wanted some like over the knee boots for a long time I, I had had a lot in the past but a lot of them wore out or I had to leave them in New Zealand when I moved here which is a bit sad um, but I decided to pick these ones up I was just really struggling actually this season to find long over the knee boots that actually fitted my calves and thighs because I'm a wee bit chunkier down below um, compared to my upper body but to just bit disproportionate especially to my foot size so a lot of the boots were like digging in giving me like sausage leg which if you've experienced that you'll know what I'm talking about it's where like the top of the boot is so hard to get it done up and then you like balloon out the top and I, I just it wasn't attractive so a lot of the long boots I was really struggling to get to work for me but these because they're like a faux suede they're actually really like stretchy and so they fit really beautifully and don't dig in or anything and I love the really classic kind of foot to it as well. It's just a nice low block heel and just a classic toe shape. They weren't actually that expensive either. For a long over the knee boot, these are really inexpensive just because they're made of a material rather than a, rather than a leather. But that's also good if you're vegan, then you can totally rock these because they aren't leather. So that's it for my capsule update and haul. I know this was a really long video, but I wanted to kind of put everything all into one video so you guys could see the things I took out, see the new things I got, as well as my new winter accessories. I might do one other like fashion capsule video in the season and I was thinking of doing outfits. So actually putting a lot of the pieces that I talked about together. I feel like a, a sort of outfit styling video using my pieces might be more interesting than just a here are all the pieces in my capsule video. I mean I love watching those but I just want to mix it up this season so I'll probably do that. I'm also going to do a sort of mini lookbook of like outfits that I'm going to wear over in the US because I'm going to America for three weeks in two weeks time and obviously I have to pull all my like summer clothes back out as well and I actually had to buy a couple of new things for summer but just because I have completely like I went through all my summer stuff and like to plan to what I was going to take and I realized like I got rid of a lot of things actually over summer after transitioning out of that capsule but I'll do a little lookbooky of that as well it'll be like a vacation lookbook which would be kind of cool as well so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to subscribe if you are new I make up to seven videos a month and I would love to see you around here on my little YouTube family if you're interested, I have all my social media links linked in the description below as well. If you missed my last video or like two videos ago where I talked about my new Instagram account as well, it's Anna's Army and it's basically a place where I can like repost you guys like the works that you've done or if you've recreated a tutorial of mine. It's just a really cool space that I can like celebrate you guys, my followers and my little family. And so you can find me on there, you can just use the hashtag Anna's Army and I'll be able to find your pictures and repost them. So have a wonderful few days and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!